Hello ladies and gents, I'm The Rev, and this is the Steam Winner's Sale Top 5 Indie Games, and let's hit it off. First up is Dead Sales, made by Motion Twin, and is currently $12.97 USD, and it's an action platformer that has all kinds of goodies to keep you busy. And I've put probably a good 30 to 40 hours into this game, and it is continually challenging and difficult. It has ultra hard bosses but most of the individuals and things that you fight in this do have set attack patterns so you can learn from them once again this is dead cells Pamela is next and if you're looking for a game that you can have a little bit of input into the devs are very open it is currently in early access, and the only game on this list in early access is made by Envyn Studios. It's currently 1749, and it is a first-person action shooter, all kinds of good things mixed into one. You'll want to check it out. Number three spot, The Surge. A game made by Deck 13 Studios. It's currently half price. That's right, 50% off, only 19.99 USD. And it is a sci-fi themed Dark Soul-esque game. I mean, literally, if you play Dark Souls, this is a, almost exactly the same type of setup. But the big difference I found was instead of the fights taking maybe 30 seconds, they'll take 20 seconds. So it's a little quicker paced and it's a lot more fun. Now, this is one of the games that I am currently doing a full playthrough on. It does have some awesome DLC called A Walk in the Park. That's only $14.99, and I'm telling you, it is a blast. So if you enjoy Dark Souls or games like Dark Souls, this would be the one to pick up on the sale. Battle Chasers Night War. Now this is a fantastic RPG. If you are a fan of comic books being made into video games they actually did a pretty good job and the way that you do that is have the head developer it be his comic book series with all the rights which is from my understanding what happened so they did a great job it follows canon within the comic book he has spoken about continuing on the comic book and more likely than not if you play this game you'll see that mm, they kind of leave it wide open at the end for another installment of fun and goodness now it is of course an rpg and it is somewhat repetitive but it does have a lot of story elements it's partially voice acted and voice acted very well it's a decently long game it's a lot of fun definitely deserves a number two spot In the number one spot, Starpoint Gemini Warlords. The game by far I have played the most of with over 500 in-game hours. And it is developed by Little Green Men Games. And it's currently $17.42 USD. And oh boy, where do I start with this one? It has got everything you want if you like playing space games. It is a sim slash third person capital ship slash base building slash upgrades it has got a huge amount of content things to do places to go a beautiful backdrop the game by far deserves the first position the devs also developed this game from their first game or i'm sorry their second game star point gemini 2 they took all the ideas from the early access process smashed them together shook it up and this is the result. It is a fantastic game. If you enjoy playing any type of space game, more likely than not, this will suck you in. Now, I do have a full guide series. I have playthroughs. Did I miss any games? What do you think? Please let me know down in the comments. As always, I am The Rev. Please like, favorite, and share, share, share. These games definitely need to be on everybody's plate. So you can check them out if you enjoy indie gaming. As always, I would love for you to come join me on Indie Contact, my live streaming show each week where we focus on an indie game for an hour. So keep your heads down, your guns up, and I'll see you again real damn soon.